it's a really interesting fact because I was on the original Mardi Gras and you can't cook, it's like cook, comparing my cooking to Guy Fieri. You know, that ship was the foundation of everything that we've done and she was extraordinary and I have so many brilliant memories. But where we are now on this, when I look around just where we're sitting in this fortune teller bar with uh, wonderful crew members bringing us drinks and you please come on in because this is a, a wonderful video and a great way to say, look, we've got bubble gun. I mean, we didn't have anything like this. There was two beers on the original Mardi Gras, Schaefer and Heineken, that was it. Other brands are available now. But uh, who would have thought that we would have drinks like this? Now, Carolina is uh, doing the mug. It's not for me. It's for the man behind the camera and the man who I'm forced to stare here. at. And this is just one of the, don't touch it yet, because this, I think, will sum up. That's my water. This will sum up one of the differences that we have um, on this ship that we never would have dreamt of. So watch this. Go, go ahead now, Carolina. Go ahead, because this is one of the, the little things that we've added to this ship. And I think one of the things that is so incredible about this ship is, and, and that people didn't really expect, is there are so many firsts. I mean, who would have thought? Not me. I raised my hand and say, 34 years ago, and somebody had said, we're going to put a roller coaster on a ship. I would have laughed. I would have gone, ha, ha, ha. Because, you know, our ships, it was a few bars and, and dancing uh, girls, and it was brilliant. But roller coaster? The first roller coaster at sea the first ship that is designed to run on LNG, the first ship with, uh, with three levels of promenade entertainment, the first with this huge grand central with the floor to ceiling windows, the first to offer such a huge variety of, of food. I mean, we've got all of these, I mean, Shaquille O'Neal, big chicken. You, the people just smile, looking that we've got the cardboard cut out of him. They see him, they grab a chicken sandwich and they enjoy it. And, and wow, the Pig and Anchor, a brewery with that beautiful summer landing. And a first also, I think, for this ship, which is also sort of not talked about enough, is we've got outdoor seating for every single restaurant and area that we have where you can go outside and take some pizza and go and sit outside, or you can take a sandwich and go sit outside. Uh, you can go to Bonsai Sushi or you can go to the steakhouse and outdoor seating. It is just a ship of firsts, all built on the bedrock and foundation of fun. You know, I've spoken to probably every guest on board. I know so many of them, they've cruised with me before. And the words I keep hearing are, extraordinary awesome incredible oh my gosh the, the the superlatives are never ending and what's brilliant about it is the ship is so spaced out in the sense that you 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 have people here at the fortune teller bar right now across the road you have people listening to the live jazz at the brass magnolia above us is the alchemy bar um, people are uh, eating dinner in Cucina, they're in the dining rooms, they're in Rudy's Seafood Grill, they're in the steakhouse there, spread out all over this incredible ship. And I don't think there is a single person who walked on this ship who really, truly understood exactly how completely extraordinary the vessel is. And I very much include myself in this. It, it is, for someone who's actually today, in the day we're filming this, celebrating 34 years with the company, I never thought that I would see a ship like this. I mean, it is so different to anything that we've done, yet the foundation is still there, the foundation of fun, the, the brilliant crew that st were on the original Mardi Gras. That, that feeling of fun is still generating around the ship. She's amazing. I mean, truly jaw-droppingly brilliant. I think one of the things that people will leave the ship having said is simply that they've had the best of times and the reason for that is the the hull of the ship and what's inside it but none of that really matters it's just an empty shell unless we put 1600 crew members on board 
And I think on this ship we have some of the very best, from the cruise director Chris Williams, the Flying Scotsman, and what a vocalist, what an entertainer. Uh, our hotel director Pierre, who's delivered lots of new ships and who who really is marshals this incredible feeling of togetherness for all the crew to every single stateroom steward and the amazing cabins and from whether you're in an XL suite with a jacuzzi on the balcony to a, uh, an ocean view cabin you're going to have a stateroom steward some of the best in the business who are going to make that towel animal and make you smile every single crew member here has been chosen because we know they are going to deliver this new ship and they are going to deliver everlasting cruise memories. Yes, I think um, the last 18 months have been hard for everybody. It's been, I've listened to stories of sadness and tragedy, but I think what everybody has done is left all of that on the pier. They know it could still be waiting for them in seven days when we get back to Port Canaveral, but this has been an escape, it has been a rejuvenation from all of that and this pent-up desire to cruise has exploded into an energy and the two forces the guests and the crew have come together the crew determined to, to serve and entertain and to be able to provide for their families again and the guests who have left that worry and, and the, the past 18 months on the pier and it's all come together and just gone wow so I guess when I look back at the last 18 months, it's been a bit like Bolt. It's been a roller coaster. It's been up and down and we're coming back and oh no, we got to, we go, oh, we're not back. But we're back now. And we are back better and stronger and even more determined to give thousands of people the best vacation in the world. We are motivated to give you the safest vacation experience in the world and we are all absolutely thrilled that the best vacation experience in the world, cruising, is back.